I am here in front of a KSI auto treat system. Uh, we have a KSI pump stand that is set up with loss and weight. This video is going to walk through the calibration process. While this system is set up as loss and weight on the pump, uh, the procedure that we will walk through in this video works exactly the same for a flow meter. When we use a flow meter with our system, we want to make sure that we are calibrating our pumps at least once a day, and we want the calibration uh, process to run for about three minutes. Before we get started with the calibration process, uh, we want to make sure that our valves are in the correct position. The side of the pump stand, we have a, a valve that is goes to the treater, where your line is going to the C-treater, or to the calibrate uh, mode. So we want to make sure that this valve is in calibrate, which will allow the liquid to go towards the calibration tube. And there's also a three-way valve underneath the calibration tube uh, uh, that is calibrate, drain, and recirculate. Before we calibrate, we want to make sure that we have all of the air out of the line and, and we give the liquid an opportunity to recirculate. Now what we're going to do is set this valve to, uh, to recirculate and then we're going to, from the touch screen, we're going to turn the pump on and let it run for uh, 30 seconds or a minute. Uh, at the touch screen, we want to navigate to the control page and then we have a pump stand set up in the bottom right hand corner and we want to just navigate uh, to the pump stand that, that we want to calibrate or recirculate. We run pump one and we have a percentage speed here. We want to make sure that this is something greater than zero. If we're just recirculating it, probably 50%. To run it, we just press the forward button and that is going to turn the pump on. As you can see, we're running this pump and liquid is just recirculating through the system. We're just going to want to watch this and make sure that all of the air is out of the line. As soon as we're satisfied that that is the case, we can go back to our touch screen. Uh, to turn a pump off, uh, you can push the off button, uh, but ideally we put the pump back in auto. Uh, when we go to calibration procedure, we do need this pump set up in auto. Now at this point, we want to uh, make sure that our valve stays in calibrate on the right side of the stand, but we want to set the valve underneath the calibration to, um, to calibrate. And then what that's going to do is force the liquid into the calibration tube. There is markings on the calibration tube, zero through 100. And what we wanna do is we wanna get the liquid on the zero mark uh, before we start the calibration procedure. To jog the pump, we want to navigate to the calibration screen, which we do this by going to system setup and calibration. From this screen, we see we have a jog button. We can change this if we wanna jog at a slower speed. When we press and hold jog, that pump is going to turn on and run until we release this. Run this pump and jog until the liquid is uh, at or just above the zero mark. And when we release it, that pump will turn off. On the calibration tube, you can see the liquid is just a little bit above the zero mark. We want to just slowly drain that liquid uh, back out of the tube and then put it back into calibrate. At this point, we're ready to actually run our calibration procedure by pressing start on the touch screen. Um, we see a uh, the middle section here says start. Before we do that, we just want to pay attention to our percent speed and our seconds, our amount of seconds here. Um, as I said, if we're testing that running this with a flow meter, we for sure want to have the seconds be at least three minutes or 180 seconds. Um, and the percent speed, you just want to make sure that that is set so that the calibration tube fills about three fourths full. Um, and as the fuller the calibration tube, the better off we are, uh, as long as we don't overfill it. So for this setup, we're gonna just go ahead and run it at 20% for 180 seconds, and we're gonna press start. When we do this, we'll see the start button will start flashing green, and the timer will start running down to zero. The pump is pumping and the liquid is coming into the calibration tube. This will run for the allotted time that we had set up on the calibration procedure, which is three minutes or 180 seconds. And then once that gets to zero, the pump will turn off and we will uh, read how many ounces are in the calibration tube and enter that in the touch screen. The pump has stopped and uh, as we can see, the liquid has ended right at 80 ounces. And so that is the value that, that we will go back and enter into the touch screen. We will take that 80 ounces that we read out of the calibration tube and we'll enter that here beside the tube. We'll just type in 80 and press calculate and that will set our density factor. In this case, it's set it to 7.78 ounce per gallon. Uh, for this pump stand. Again, if this was set up as a flow meter instead of loss and weight, it would say flow meter down here and density factor would be replaced with cow factor. And our cow factor should be somewhere around one, like 1 1.05 or 0.97. Um, at this point, the calibration for this pump is complete. But before we complete the process, we want to go ahead and drain the liquid back into the tank. And we also want to uh, set our, our a valve on the side of the pump stand to go back to the treater. Um, and make sure that when we go to start our order and, and treat seed that our valves are in the correct position. And once we've done that, 
uh, we have completed the calibration process for this pump and we would repeat this process for, for every pump that you have on your system.